The core question our project addressed was, how do we create a culture of ethical and responsible digital citizenship? And to do this, we had six main goals. The first was to immerse teachers and students in the practice and the culture of connective writing for an authentic audience. And then we wanted to use connective writing as an ongoing source of self-expression, self-reflection and improved literacy. We wanted to develop the skills and the knowledge required to maintain a personal blog. We wanted our teachers and our students to understand contemporary information management techniques, things like RSS, tagging, subscription, pingbacks, analytics, creative commons and so on, and blogging seemed to be an ideal platform to launch into these different techniques. We wanted to allow our students and our teachers to enjoy the writing process. And finally, we wanted our children and our teachers to be able to build connections with an authentic audience. When they outlined the project, I thought it sounded absolutely enormous. And I remember you and I, Chris, turning to each other and saying, are we going to go ahead with this? And then we thought we'd give it a go. At first I had no idea what blogging was about, so I found it very daunting. I think the fear of the unknown. Um, I'd heard of many other teachers blogging in the amount of time that they actually spent out of school time doing it. And I just thought that I'm not extremely IT confident yet. And I just didn't think I would use the time out of the classroom wisely. From the trepidation of the initial thoughts, it's run very smoothly. The process to, from when we started to this point now has been huge. I now feel confident in being able to blog with the class. They all have their own blogs. We can comment on their blogs. We have the opportunity to blog ourselves. And it's been a huge learning curve. The project has given us another skill to work on, another skill that we can take then as a useful tool into the classroom. And I feel confident about it. I feel yeah, mm. good about yeah. it. Yep. It's been really successful and again, as I said, I was quite sceptical in the beginning. For the staff on board to learn a new skill was great and I know that we thought the learning curve was enormous but then with the support that you've given us and the time given us to, to us through the funding, um, it's been a good learning process for us and it was supported and we did it step by step so it was gradual and then to bring the students on board has been very beneficial to them. I found it very beneficial having um, uh, for Chris and Chris and when you organised for us to Skype the ladies overseas and find out how they were blogging, what they thought about blogging, the positives, the negatives. Chris was able to contact some people he knew in other countries, uh, Japan and the States, and got them to just discuss with us the process of blogging in the classroom, um, their thoughts, the benefits with their students, and that gave us more of an understanding of how the process was used in the classroom. The biggest surprise is how it's run so smoothly. We carefully allocated our days so that they weren't, our release days, so that they weren't too close together and they've come around and we've worked through it. We've learnt something every single time that we've met as a staff with the IT support and it's not as daunting as we originally thought because we've paced ourselves and we've taken the whole process of the project gradually, it's worked very well. It was uh, um, something I had wanted to do but wasn't quite sure where to start. So this was a good opportunity to, um, to find out what blogging was all about. I just found it a little bit difficult to use to begin with, but now that I'm used to it, um, it's good, it's good. And it's a way of getting information out there quickly. I wanted to, to up the profile of the junior library just to let people know what we do do here. And then I realised there was another huge area that I wasn't covering um, with all the literature and the book reviews and I didn't really want to intersperse that with, with the original blog so I have a blog linked to a blog and I use that exclusively for book reviews and I'm quite excited about the fact that I can now link it to YouTube clips um, and 
and I see a lot of potential there. I'm, I'm hoping to make it a place where girls, when they, they hop in a computer, think, oh, let, let's see what the latest book reviews are. I think there are always surprises, um, the subjects that they choose to write about and the depth that they write about, and some girls who are very quiet have actually written a lot. I was uh, very sceptical at first because when their first blogs um, shocked me. So if I was writing my own diary, I would probably would write the number four instead of the actual word because like no one's going to really look at it except for me but because I'm writing for an audience I don't really want to seem like someone who can't spell. Uh, it feels different, it feels like you have to put like a lot more work into it, like you feel a bit like worried that like if you make a mistake like the whole world can see it. In a blog you have to make sure that your writing is good quality because lots of people are going to read it. It's a little bit different to a social site but it makes you feel like you're on a social site. I, I check my blog a lot to see comments and um, yeah it's really good when I see comments because also at first I was worried that nobody was reading my blog but now I know that people are and they and they kind of check back to see if I've had any more posts so obviously they enjoy it. Yeah our friends go on our blogs and stuff because sometimes we post about what we do in the holidays and things and so we kind of use it as like the legal version of Facebook. <laughs> and they're loving it. To have a, another use for their laptops and another specific purpose for them, they're, they're up and running. And to see how many blogs they've actually posted um, is very exciting. It's, it sort of makes you feel good that you're being helpful because other people might look on your blogs and they think, oh, so that's how you did the maths question or something like that. It just gives you another insight into the child. It's interesting to see the topics that they want to blog about because, of course, we suggest topics, but they're choosing um, topics of their own to blog about as well. So it's just another level of communication with you and the student. You can see that they're improving, I suppose, and I feel a lot better about it. I see it as a wonderful tool for them to express themselves and, and something that I find very beneficial is that they can then take it on next year and keep a record of their own blog.